Hi, my name is Sarah Gottlieb, and I am a graduate student in the Department of Psychology at the University of California, Berkeley, where I study topics at the intersection of psychology and philosophy. And as a researcher, I'm particularly interested in scientific and religious explanation. So my work tries to better understand what are the individual differences and personality characteristics that will lead certain people to become very religious and other people to become scientifically minded, or uh, what are the circumstances under which people are led to value scientific explanations or religious explanations. So through this research, I feel that I've actually gained a deep appreciation for some of the ways in which religious people and scientifically minded people are actually quite similar. And this is something that I feel is overlooked in the current science and religion debate. So for me, the unifying theme between science and religion is awe. And awe is just a really profound, deeply transformative, moving, emotional experience. And most of us can probably recall some very important awe experience that we have had. But what psychology tells us is that awe actually has two central characteristics. The first is called vastness, and this is just uh, being in the presence of something large or something great, either metaphorically or physically. So in the physical sense, you can feel awe standing at the Grand Canyon and looking at the vastness of the landscape. But one can also feel awe in response to somebody in great power or somebody you admire deeply. But the other characteristic of awe, and the one that I find most interesting in the current context, is called accommodation. So imagine that you're looking out into space, and space is just so large and you can't understand uh, the limits of our universe then we have to revise what we know about the world to make sense of something new. And that, uh, that accommodation, that revision of existing mental schemas, this response to what we don't know, is a very, um, very important aspect of awe. And what I think is important about this is that even though awe has traditionally been thought of and studied in a religious or spiritual context, that feeling of connectedness to the world around us, that just feeling of there being something more, that's often felt in response to science as well. And this is something that's been confirmed for me by everyday practice. As a scientist, I am trained to ask questions. I go to work every day and I ask why. I look at the data we have and I look at what it can explain and I look at what it can't explain. And I think about the limits of my knowledge. I think about how amazing and profound the human mind is and other aspects of science are as well. Um, and to me, uh, awe is often felt in response to those things. There's a lot that science can't explain. There are a lot of things I don't understand. And asking questions on a daily basis has led me to confront um, those inexplicable things on a quite daily basis. So for me as a scientist, I often feel that deeply moving sense of awe just in response to my work. And I think that when we uh, consider science and religion, it's important to consider that there are some important emotional experiences, awe being one of them, that is central to both science and religion.